Hi, Chris and Brody here. Brody, are you ready? We're going to do side our, our first time around on our outline. Some things to talk about, though, just to get proportions right. Um, these guys, you want a nice tight elbow. Um, the chest in the front should be as wide as the palm of your hand, but when you set your fist underneath, there should just barely um, you know, be able, like clearance, a normal man size hand. All right, the other thing is that we are not going to do the complete sanitary. All you're going to do is clean up the, the shaft um, or if it were female, just around the vulva. We do want good angulation in the shoulders though. And so what I'm going to do is from the elbow forward, I'm going to come in here with my 3F backwards and take this a little bit tighter in the shoulder area. Even though they should have, you know, kind of a shorter neck, um, I still want to definitely define the shoulder layback, which is then going to make the neck look a little longer. But I also want to clean up that fore chest. And what I did is I just kind of followed to the point of shoulder, came up to where we started our work on our neck. They should have a nice chest. So I leave that little bit of finish there. And you can see just the start of my W on the outside edge. But all this gets cleaned up cleaned up all the way to the point of shoulder and blend to the base of the ear. So that's nice and tight. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the rear from the pin bone. There's the pin bone. And I'm going to get rid of that coat and just blend that in just to give them a little extra angulation. And that will go all the way across to the other side. Okay. That gets all that nice and tidy. Tighten up that rear angulation. All right. Then for the jacket, I'm going to take my half inch universal comb and I'm going to look at his top line. I know I need to leave a little fill in the, the uh, shoulder area. And I'm going to come in here and take and blend this off. Now he does not have a lot of undercoat, but a lot of these guys have tons and tons of undercoat. So you may have wanted to do a little extra carding under here, but I'm just going to do my first time over with a, a long blade, a half inch universal comb against. Notice I did not do anything with that strip because I want to leave a little bit longer in there to fill in the blank. Okay? And all that's going to do is give me a better opportunity to get a natural finish. I still follow the outline of the dog. I'm just going backwards. Make sure you go truly against the lay of the coat the first time around. Thanks.